Hey, hi! Welcome back to the series of automotive sessions. I am Dr. Krishna Hema, your automotive expert. So today we would like to discuss about hazard, that is hazard and operability study in detail in furthermore slides. What is hazard? Hazard is a systematic qualitative technique to identify potential hazards in the system and identifying operating problems using a series of guide words to study deviation in the products so first thing is it is a systematic approach it is a qualitative approach that means we need to we will find out a problem we will identify a problem when we do this activity and the third thing is with the help of guide words there are a set of words like which are very particular to the hazard analysis and with that like we need we can identify the hazard the potential hazard in this in the system and the operating problem in the uh, which causes deviations in the products. HESOP is an inductive analysis technique. So this is an bottom-up approach to identify hazards. HESOP is used for generally, uh, generally in vehicle level hazard identification. Hazard is a brainstorming technique like which involves a team, a complete team like they will come up with the solutions in this case. So more simple and intuitive than any other risk management tool when compared to HESOP. It depends on the ability of experts to predict deviations based on their past experiences. So without the subject matter expert in HESOP analysis, we will not get up a good solution out of this. So when to use HESOP? HESOP is when we have a system design to assess it, we need HESOP analysis. So with respect to the specification shared by the customer and with respect to the safety standards also, the system, the, uh, the system design will be validated as per the user specification and the safety standard. The second thing is to identify the weakness in the system. Okay, and to assess environment uh, the operating environment here it is like whether it suits the system appropriately or not that means where the system is situated so uh, where exactly it is and it is supported serviced contained etc so to assess engineering controls example automation sequence of operations process controls like uh, the human interactions or the human uh, HMI etc so in case of automotive so to assess different operating modes like startup standby normal operation steady and unsteady states normal shutdown emergency shutdown etc we cannot apply HAZOP in certain situations. HAZOP does not mean to assess hazards involve, involving interaction between different parts of a same system or same process. HAZOP cannot provide risk ranking or prioritization capability. HAZOP does not mean to assess effectiveness of existing or proposed controls or safeguards in case of HAZOP terminology. To cover this, we may not, we may need to interface HAZOP with other risk management tool. HAZOP is one of the risk management tool. We need to, uh, we need to get in combination with other risk management tools to come up with uh, assessment of assessment effectiveness of uh, the proposed controls. Syntax for HAZOP. The HAZOP study involves the construction of HAZOP cases through the combination of entities, attributes, and guide words in order to describe some deviations from design intent. Each hazard case is then used to identify potential hazards. So example, or this is the syntax in the red color text, what if entity in brackets, so entity may be your device or the complete product, okay, and attribute, it has some, a particular uh, attribute and is is guide word question mark uh, the examples are what if the valve position is more okay what if the existing system trigger is early hazard guide words these are the set of guide words which we use in hazard guide word no or not meaning is complete negation of the design intent more is quantitative increase. 
there is an increase okay less is quantitative decrease as well as is quantitative modification or quantitative increase part of quantitative modification or decrease reverse is logical opposite of the design intent other than or instead is complete substitution early is relative to the clock time late is relative to the clock time before is related to order or sequence after is related to order or sequence this is the hazop steps typical workflow of hazop so first of all we will start and then we will explain overall design and we will select a part of design and we will examine uh, the design intent of the part and we will identify relevant elements and identify uh, the characteristics of elements and then select a gu guide word and then apply the guide word to selected elements uh, to obtain special interpretation and then if there is any deviation when we apply this guide word so all we need to try out like all sorts of combination of guide words which we had in the previous slide so those all combinations we need to try out and if you observe any of the deviation is deviation credible then we need to investigate causes consequences and protection or indication and we need to document the cause as well and then we need to come up with have all interpretations of the guide word and element or characteristics combined been applied if it is yes it will go to the next step that is have all guide words been applied to the selected element if it is no it will go back to the apply the guide word to the selected elements okay coming back to to here like have all guide words been applied to the selected element if it is yes it will go to the have all elements been examined if it is no it will go back to the select a guide word so have all elements been examined so here in case of s yes, have all parts been examined if it is no it will go back to the select a guide word if uh, then the next thing is have all parts been examined if it is yes we will, we need to stop if it is no we will go back to select a part here is a sample hazop analysis which is given uh, just to understand and before if you did not get the workflow nothing to worry here you will get so as a first step you need to identify you need to consider um, the complete design of your device then you need to pick a part in that so part considered is abc part that's a first column here and then what is the intention of design design intent is a second second column here that is to assign unique identification numbers to uh, parts okay and then the next thing is element uh, once we consider the part design intent uh, then we need to identify the relevant elements so the relevant elements may be one or more also but here as an as a sample i gave one so here the element is control applications the next thing is we need to write down the characteristics of element the characteristics of element is uh, deviation detection and the second characteristics deviation reporting in devi in deviation reporting i left everything blank because deviation reporting is done in a uh, pdf format or xls format and which is done by the tool itself okay what about the first case deviation detection characteristics so we need to have the guide word guide word combination is like you know here we have used two guide words but we need to use multiple guide words whatever is applicable in this case so guide word no and guide word more more is applied here what is deviation deviation is nothing but a non conformance so in the first case we have no deviation detected and in the second case we have deviation detected possible cause is the next column so no id allocated uh, for the first case and bug in the controller we have identified a bug in the controller what are next column is consequences consequences is what is the consequence or what is the impact with this deviation uh, there is an error and can expect 
unidentified behavior of the of this particular uh, element okay and uh, the second consequence is major deviation not detected the next thing is the next column is safeguard safeguards are nothing but controls then the first safeguard is review mechanism to be strengthened the second safeguard is controller to be calibrated frequently then the comments are no parts available to allocate id action required is nothing if there is a part available then if the uh, if the element is not allocating an id then it will be a problem in the system but since we don't have a parts we have we don't have other parts to allocate id there is no action required and there is no assignee required since there is no action so what about the second case is like we have a controller to be calibrated frequently as a safeguard or the control and uh, the comments are engineer is not available not aware of calibration process importance so action required is ensure engineer is engineer to calibrate prior to the usage of the part or the device and after n number of uh, production then we need to recalibrate the device so it may be the n may be 10 15 100 or something like that uh, then the assignee is engineer so once after completion of hazard analysis we need to document the hazard analysis and we need to communicate it to the relevant stakeholders and we need to ensure on the closure of actions identified and after that on a particular frequency during the long term frequency like once in six months or once in once in a year we need to revisit this hazard analysis and we need to look at the assumptions we have made uh, to come up with this hazard analysis like in the beginning of uh, maybe in the relevant identification of relevant elements or the characteristics so we need to revise based on the assumptions made hope you understand this concept if you like this concept click on the like button if you want further more automotive videos subscribe to my channel thank you